I'm Carson Wells covering your community in Shell Beach. Bluff erosion has been a concern for some homeowners here. Behind me is a crane used to lower materials to help build a seawall here off Indio Drive. Crews tell me they began work for the day around 1 p.m. and they wrapped up while I was still there around 5.45 p.m. They are working on a seawall intended to help protect 117 Indio Drive, a single family home built in 2003. I reached out to the owner of the property, James Gentlecore, who declined an on-camera interview, but did answer some of my questions over text. He tells me that he is paying for the seawall himself and construction is expected to take about a year. I sat down with Dr. Pat Abbott, a geologist who tells me that seawalls can slow coastal bluff erosion but are not a permanent solution. When you build a wall, you don't stop erosion. You, you, you slow it. You may delay it for a while. Uh, Mother Nature is going to keep attacking that with waves uh, continuously. When the waves come in, they hit on that wall and bounce back harder than they did before, and they can drag the beach sand out with them. Gentle Core told me over text he is building the seawall because, quote, I have lost over three feet of my bluff. I had no choice but to take action, end quote. According to analysis done by the city and Gentle Core in 2021, quote, 20 to 30 feet of bluff loss has occurred in this area over the last 20 years. The site appears to be continuing to experience accelerated erosion as a result of a combination of existing subsurface springs, unique geologic conditions, inadequate drainage in the rear yard and focused wave energy. The analysis also says growing sea caves and instability could lead to, quote, imminent and catastrophic bluff failure. Once finished, the seawall will be 120 feet long and 40 feet high. In Shell Beach, Carson Wells, KSBY News.